your greatest friend and you also are your greatest enemy. You probably asking why I said that, but if you ever think about it, when you thinking positive and you doing good things and you thinking positive, you doing right, you your biggest friend. But when you thinking negative and thinking of limitations and things you can't do, things that you think you can't do, that's your that's your biggest enemy. <laughs> If you think about it, you really have to take accountability in your life. Like, I'm just sitting back reflecting. I, I'm thinking about like this girl. I loved her so much. I love that girl so much. I still love her to the day. Like, but I pushed that person away from me because what I, my actions and how I acted and who I was in that present moment and that those present times, you are your biggest enemy. Sometimes you will have a blessing and you will just treat that blessing like crap and not be grateful for that blessing or be grateful for that for that uh, that feeling like and i'm just sitting back reflecting thinking about that like, i really just didn't take i didn't take gratitude within that person i i i, I really didn't treat her with respect i didn't treat her with respect because i never knew how to treat myself with respect I ain't treat her with respect because I ain't treat myself with respect. I'm going to say that again. I ain't treat her with respect because I ain't treat myself with respect. And, like, learning and like elevating and, like, growing and shit, you start really reflecting on that shit. You start thinking about all that shit you did in the past to hurt other people. Like, it's been coming up lately, how I hurt other people. Not just, like, that one, one girl, but, like, just in general, how I hurt other people in that comes upon me i'm gonna get hurt because i hurt, hurt other people hurt people hurt people i had to really just look at myself like i was just reflect i've been reflecting like all this year because i just got that relationship like this year and it was crazy angle i had shroom trip bro i knew the relationship was gonna end because you kind of can tell you i'm very intuitive i knew you already done some toxic shit but it's like you gotta really let go of that feeling of not thinking you can be loved. I will push shit in my head to think that the people don't want to love me just because I don't think I deserve to be loved. I would do that on bullshit for no reason. I'm just creating fake stories in my head, things in my head, bro. And that shit will hurt you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's real, though. You got to sit back and reflect on that shit. When you think about your life, you create you create everything like you create the bad you create the good you create it all like it's up to you to figure that out and learn to master your creation master your mental when you hurting people bro you gonna get hurt and when you loving people you gonna feel love you know what i'm saying take that take that and run with that if you love people you will be loved if you hurt people you'll be hurt Remember the saying, like, you, how you treat others is how you get treated, right? That's really true. That's so true. And, like, think about it. If you want to, like, for me, like, me going to, like, looking for a next relationship or try to heal, repair, like, whatever it is, you look for a new relationship, like, I'm just trying to heal myself. I want to find a reflection of me. I want to find somebody that I just genuinely love. Because that feeling, I'm trying to recreate. I told people i tell like people like women that came after like that one girl like, you can't recreate that shit because that was a different person to me and i have to tell myself that because like, i seek that feeling that uh, that feeling of security that feeling of love that feeling of being being having that person having that having that fight that spark you know what i'm saying but like you gotta really be grateful for that moment bro be grateful to have love and have someone care about you, bro. Be grateful that others really care what you think. You gotta be grateful that others really love you. You gotta treat your loved ones with respect and keep them love. Cause not many people wanna see you do pray, do good, and wanna see you be loved. Not many people want that shit. Like when you really look at it, nobody nobody wanna see you be 
hundred percent happy, except for true people that want to see you happy. Other than those people, bro, niggas don't give a fuck how you live in my nigga. <laughs> like they don't give no fuck if you happy or sad, bro. Like you gotta really realize that, bro. You gotta stop thinking about what everybody else think. Like when you think about what everybody else think, bro, like that shit not even like that shit not even that shit ain't even gonna happen, bro. Like that shit not even gonna happen, cause it, it's just not. But that's really all I got. Tom really just ran, bro. Nigga just going thinking about life, man. Really just missing, missing that feeling, that girl, that woman she is. You know, I miss her, and I know I do. I have no, I'm not afraid to say I miss her, cause I miss her. You know what I'm saying? I, I really want to tell her like I miss her. But I'd be, like, scared to text her and shit. I'm probably going to send her the video and just be like, bro, listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like, love is real, bro. Like, I just be having to sit back and reflect. Like, love is real, bro. Love ain't temporary. Love ain't conditional. Love is unconditional. No matter what, love is unconditional. You really got to think about it and heal yourself. Like, heal your mind, bro. You got to, can't be... One love, you not healing yourself, man. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry to anybody I ever hurt. And, like, anybody I ever, like, did bad. Because, like, I'm not that person anymore. I don't even see myself as that person. I just want to heal from where I, I am at now. And I want to grow from where I'm at and let go of all those past feelings. Like, those past feelings, those past relationships, those past emotions. I want to release that. I understand that I have to face that. Like, I just have to face that emotion of everything. I didn't even think about, like, how I was just thinking. I didn't even think about her like that. So I really just had to sit back and really just think for, like, a couple of minutes. It was raining and shit. It was a dark day. I was just thinking about it, bro. Thinking about her. Thinking about how I felt. Thinking about what I did to lose her. Thinking about what I did to hurt her. Because I, I, I wasn't the best person. I was toxic as fuck. Nigga was healing, bro. Nigga was... Not healing. I wasn't even healing at that time, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I was just living, boy. I was just lit, boy. I was lit. I don't even know that person for real, hundred percent. I know who that person is, but I don't. I don't think that person can ever come back. So I don't think that person can ever, can ever like just be who I am again. Cause that wasn't a good person. I was hurting people, bro. I was hurting people because I was hurt. But I'm so sorry to hurt anybody. <laughs> I hurt you. And you just gonna keep growing and evolving. Cause like, you have to face that shit, bro. You can't be saying, you can't lie to yourself and be like, nah, I ain't hurt nobody. I ain't never did nobody wrong, bro. Cause like, you, you probably didn't mean to hurt nobody, but you did, bro. And I had to face that shit, bro. I used to be like, bro, she ain't gonna, she alright, bro. She'll be back, bro. You know what I'm saying? She'll be back, bro, until she left. She left my eye like that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Nah. But it was like cool still, cause like once I I just had to accept that that's that was had, what she had to do to be happy for her. Cause like I hurt her, I couldn't be mad at her for doing that or feeling like she had to leave me or be mad at me or anything like that. I really just had to let her be. I couldn't control it. Like I remember I hit up still the time, you know, just trying. To, but I I couldn't really control that. I I understood that it was bigger than me. Like, and I'm just, I, I hope she like happy. Cause I'm just thinking about her deep as fuck. Cause I want, I always want to be happy. I always want to be loved. I always want to feel good. I'll do anything for her still to this day. And like back then, bro, I feel like I took that shit for granted. And I want really, really want, I really didn't know. I thought everybody could give me that shit, but hell nah. <laughs> no sir, bro. You can't, and like be grateful for who you, you have. You got to remain great for who you had, bro. Because some shit not replaceable, bro. Some shit not replaceable, dog. Some shit just is forever gone. It's for, when it's gone, it's gone, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's gone, it's gone, my boy. You got to really start thinking about that shit. You can't be, you can't be just losing, bro. You can't just be losing. You can't be losing good people. You can't be losing people that want to see you win. You can't be losing people that that want to see you evolve, my dog. You got to keep growing, elevating. Like, the people that want to see you lose, bro, they're going to be fucking natural, bro. You're going to see that shit. They're going to get cut off naturally, bro. Most high God, going, the universe is going to cut them off naturally, bro. Like, I, you you just got to trust in yourself and trust in your intuition and trust, in, trust the universe to guide you, bro. 
Cause once you trust the universe to guide you, bro, you're going to be, you're going to be living a life of living your true life, your purpose, bro. You have to live in your purpose. You got to find what your purpose is. You can't be trying to still be in the same toxic mental relationship with yourself, my dog. You got to kill that toxic mental relationship with yourself, man. You got to kill the old you, bro. You can't be the same person. If you want to start to the next level, you can't be the same person. If you want a new relationship, new love, you can't be the same person. And, like, that's what I told myself. I can't be the same person I was in that relationship and come back and think that I'm going to be in a new relationship because you just get in the same shit, bro. Just a new fit and just a new female, just a new avatar, new character, bro. You really got to heal yourself and heal from that past trauma, bro. You can't be coming back. Hurting people, cause like I caught myself hurting people, like I was hurting people. Couldn't take, I didn't take nothing for, I wasn't taking nothing for granted. So I wasn't take, I wasn't grateful for that shit. I should have been. I was like looking back at it now. I'm grateful for that shit. Now it was too fucking late, cause they're gone. You know what I'm saying? That taught me like, a lesson of be grateful for what you have in the moment. Like, don't allow anybody or anyone to tell you. That shit isn't important, bro. If it make you feel that feeling of love, bro, that shit important. Don't let your friends fuck your relationship up. Don't let nobody fuck that relationship up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, at the end of the day, don't let nobody, including you, fuck that relationship, bro. You gotta evolve, man. You gotta let, you gotta allow people to love you, man. Like, I, I have struggled with that shit. Like, I struggle with allowing people to love me and allowing to feel like I'm, I'm 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 worthy of love. I'm grateful to have like like that. I I I I deserve to be loved. I really struggle with that shit. And like I'm really I'm I'm I used to struggle with that. I ain't gonna say I I, I struggle with it because I used to, but now I'm trying to heal from that and grow from that and like believe that I'm able to be loved. Cause I feel like I had to give something to be loved. I had to portray myself as a certain way to be loved. I had to fit certain people characteristics to be loved. But for real, bro. Some anybody who love you gonna love you for you and who you are at that moment and who you gonna be. They gonna love you forever. It never changed. Love doesn't change. Real love doesn't change. Real love always gonna be there. No matter how hurt they hurt you, you always gonna end up feeling that feeling of love. Cause that's why you go back to that. But with a toxic relationship though, you can't, you, sometimes you'll get confused, bro. You'll get confused thinking you love her, you loving somebody, but really, bro, you're not even loving that person. You loving that feeling of security. You loving that feeling of being in love. You loving that, you loving that feeling of having that feeling in your stomach, bro. You know what I'm saying? But if it's hurting you though, you can't just hold on to it. Sometimes you gotta let loose and get your distance with that shit. And let that shit be. And I allow anybody or anyone to tell you how that shit should be. How love should be. How you should love somebody. You know what I'm saying? Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to believe in yourself. And find who you... Find your tribe. Find how you love yourself. Find what your love language is. Find where you love others. You know what I'm saying? And really start loving yourself. And start evolving, man. I hope y'all found some peace in that video and like what I'm talking to. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about love and the limitations we put on ourselves for being loved. Really not knowing what love is and expressing it in the wrong ways. Hope you learned something. If you did, I'm going to subscribe. See y'all on the next video. Fo, fo, fo.